Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Trivet Nuts. I'm John. This video is going to be comprised of three things. One is a description of how I put together my most, well, not my most recent frame, but one of my most recent frames called the Reef Knot Frame. Uh, as part of that, the second part is a tutorial of uh, a 25 strand uh, interlacing senate. And thirdly, I just recently came back from having a booth at the United States Sailboat Show up in Annapolis, Maryland. And I walked around some and did some video of that. So I hope you enjoy that and the rest of it. On to the rest of the content. Before I get started showing you how I made this frame, uh, the original idea for this frame was to frame one of my very favorite paintings ever, which is Winslow Homer's Breezing Up. Um, and of course, I got a G. Clay print of it. Uh, the original is in the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., measures two feet by three feet, and was painted between 1873 and 1876. And it really is one of my very favorites, but I had always loved this picture and decided to make a frame for it. And I wanted to make something that would, that in my mind would have um, been acceptable to Winslow Homer <laughs> to go around his painting. So that was the whole idea behind this. Well, in coming up with ideas as to what to surround that painting, uh, my mind went back to uh, a conversation that I had when I was uh, uh, doing my We're Not Talking with uh, episode with Das Pawson. And he had brought up that uh, uh, he brought up sword matting. And I really like sword matting. And of course, it's something that has a practical use in, in the old days of sail. It was used as chafing gear and it could be used for wrapping around uh, stanchions and railings for, for gripping, uh, going up and down ladders and so forth. Well, he brought that up because uh, he had been called by a shipyard in Scotland requesting to get some spools of sword matting. Well, I mentioned that in my conversations with uh, with Jamie White. Jamie was also a, a subject of one of my "We're Not Talking" episodes, and and he and I have become kind of buddies over over the last year or so. Anyway, he uh, he and I were talking, and I mentioned that, and he goes, "You know what?" He said, "I think I was working on the Glen Lee in Scotland at that time, and somebody had uh, approached him and said, where can we get this this knotting? It, he goes, that's sword matting. Uh, Call Des Pawson." <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably how that happened, which I thought was pretty interesting. Anyway, so it gave me the idea. I was like, you know, why not incorporate that into elements of a frame? So that's what I did with this. I, I came up with the idea of using sword matting to curve around as if it was around a railing. And that's what the outside of the frame is. So there is there is that.
So let's do a tutorial. This is a 25 strand interlacing senate, and it goes like this. Three, under three, over three, under five from both sides. Three, under three, over three, under five. And on and on and on we go. Takes a few passes for it to form up, but it is currently my favorite Senate. I really like it. I use it on uh, different parts of the last two frames that I made. It is the main Senate running down the middle between Russian and sword mat on the reef knot frame. And it is the outer band. This is actually leftovers from the outer band of the, uh, of waves, waves frame. Not hard, you just gotta try to keep everything, keep all of these running very parallel to their neighbors and uh, it forms up nicely. I find it a little more difficult to tie a short piece than I do longer pieces. You know, I mean, I've sent it at large And these are short. This is actually just about, I guess, 18 inches of line I had left over from when I did the uh, outer band of the of the waves frame. But this is how you do it. Isn't that cool looking? I love it, man. There's a, there's another one I need to try that Dave came up with. It's a 31 strand interlacing that's really really beautiful. Haven't tried it yet. I'll probably do it on the next frame. In all likelihood, I will. But I like this one a lot. I think it's the first time I've used you know the same main Senate on two different frames back to back ever. But just appeals to me. Maybe not to everyone, but it does to me. I just, I really like it. Also ties fast. <coughs> Excuse me. It ties pretty tag on quick. It lays up nicely. There you go. That's pretty much it. You could make it out of any size. So I'm in the middle of editing this video and I get to the, the reef knot part and I 
realized that I only had like one picture of the loops that I made out of the H-strand square braid for the reef knot feature, which is what I called it. It's the reef knot frame. So perhaps I should have done some sort of tutorial on that, but I did not. I didn't. I have like one picture of the four loops, not how I made it, because I'm thinking, eh, they're reef knots. It's pretty easy. But somebody's going to ask me. So let's just take care of that. So here's how I made the reef knot feature. Obviously, this is much larger, eight-strand square braid, but it's what I had. And I made four loops, glued them together. So there's the glue joint, right? They're super glued together. And then four loops will make three reef knots. So here's the reef knot. That's there. Take this. There, there. Come here, John. And there's your reef knot, right? So do that three times. You'll have these loops on the end. Well, I took these and I made a little plastic eyelet to put in the middle because I was going to be gluing uh, a rose knot in on the, on the end and covered this joint with a Turk's head. In here, because you there's one in the middle where you had to cover a joint, you just put the joint behind here, behind one of the passes, and that covers all the joints. That's it, simple as that. Well, I'm here at the United States Sailboat Show, just walking around, checking out things on the last day because I'm finally free from hanging out at the booth. A lot of boats, a lot of people with boats, maybe some of them buying boats or boat stuff. It's been a lot of fun.
Well, hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, won't be too long. I'm going to be doing another video on the most recent frame I made, which I have entitled Waves. We'll see you then.